secrets if you really look at yourself you will be speechless what happened to being doctors and teachers what happened to being your brother's keeper nowadays kids more worried what is going on YouTube? So today I want to talk to you guys about digital game pricing and how it is completely outrageous in price nowadays on Xbox's platform as well as Sony's platform. But before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe button. It really helps with my channel and let's jump right into it. So I just want to let you guys know that I've pretty much went all digital on the next generation system. So that means PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. I only have two um, actual hard copies of game, which is Battlefield 4, which I picked up at launch for the Xbox One and the order 1886 or 7 I can't remember the exact year I bought it because I didn't know how long I was going to keep it for and so on like that but I didn't actually end up keeping it I was trying to trade it back in but it turns out that GameStop really does not give you anything so I just decided to keep it it was just worth it in case I want to play through it again in the future sometime but the thing I noticed about digital pricing is the pricing is so ridiculous on these platforms. I know Steam gets a lot of credit for having some really good pricing and had some really good deals that they offer on their games. And lately Xbox and Sony has been offering some deals um, like summer sales, winter sales, stuff like that which Steam does. But not to the degree that Steam does it in quantity or quality of games and discounts and stuff like that. And the thing that I really don't get is why are these prices of digital games so much more expensive than the physical counterpart. I was looking at Battlefield Hardline on the Xbox and PlayStation Store, I believe. It's 60 bucks for a digital copy of this game. But if you head over to Amazon, it's $39.99, which is a huge difference. It's 20 bucks, and there's other games out there too that you can save up to 30 to 40 bucks by just buying it physical versus digital. And that is, that's blows my mind because if you decide to buy a digital game, you lose so many rights compared to having a physical game. For example, you you can't trade the game in, so you play it for a month, you can't get money back for it, you can't sell it to a friend or whatever, you can't let someone borrow it, you can't rent it from a store. So you lose all those rights, and you gotta pay more money to get the game. It really doesn't make sense why they are doing this, because for these publishers and developers, they actually save a ton of money by selling digital. First off, they don't have to ship the game to these stores, they don't have to send it through manufacturing to get, to get the disc made, to get the cover art made to get the boxes made they don't have to take a cut um, price cut um, for that fraction of the sale to GameStop or Walmart or Best Buy they just have to give a little bit of money to Microsoft regardless if it's physical or digital so I don't get why it's so much more expensive for these games digital versus physical now I do know that Microsoft and Sony one reason why they don't have a competitive pricing model for digital distribution is because they don't want to make the big box retailers upset. See if you look at Steam, they don't have any in-store selling um, games or consoles or stuff like that so that they don't have to make the retailers happy. Microsoft and Sony do because if they upset GameStop or Walmart, they can, th those companies can simply say, oh I'm not going to sell this Xbox One or PlayStation 4 at our um, retailers and that could make a huge hit on Microsoft or Sony but you could offer a price matching tool so if the game is selling for 20 bucks at GameStop sell it for 20 bucks on the digital store or if you don't want a price match at least have it somewhat of a parity maybe charge an extra couple bucks even though it's not right but I feel like they need to have some better pricing models because paying an extra 30 or 40 bucks is not the way you should treat your digital customers because normally the digital customers are more of your hardcore gamers who tend to stick with their games and stuff like that. So I really wish that Microsoft and Sony would step up and implement maybe, I don't know if they want to go with price matching, that might be too far, but at least come down in price as the game goes on. Um, I would love to see that because I get all my games digital. I know a lot of other people out there too buy other di games digital. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys buy your games digital and are you guys unhappy with the current pricing of digital games versus physical games? Let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so you stay up to date with all my latest videos and news and gameplay and stuff like that. This is Corey and I'm signing out.